23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Keely Van Mittendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. It's Fire Prevention Week and the Red Cross wants to make sure you're prepared. Residents are urged to test their smoke alarms and replace them if they've had them for more than 10 years. Red Cross officials recommend practicing a fire escape drill at home. Also be sure to designate a meeting spot at a safe distance from your house. If you can't afford to purchase a smoke alarm or install it, Red Cross can help. Because of the bad air quality, GetBus is offering free rides today and tomorrow. All fixed routes and on-demand paratransit will be running. GetBus offers these rides when air quality is predicted to be over 150 or unhealthy to the general population. And the season of giving is just around the corner. If you're looking to spread some holiday cheer, consider helping make sure that every child gets a special gift this year. The Kern County Department of Human Services is hosting its annual holiday cottage, and they're accepting donations online to help give presents to kids in foster care. 23 ABC is a proud sponsor of the event. Find the link to donate at turnto23.com. And our temperature is a little bit cooler for our Tuesday, but not by much. We don't see a big change. 86 degrees in Bakersfield and Arvin as well. 74 at Lebec. Temperatures in the 80s over in the desert too. Still tracking some smoke in the sky too. I don't think it's going to be quite as intense as what we were dealing with today, but your air quality alert is still in effect as we head into the day on Thursday. So it's several days ahead now that we have that air quality alert, but cooler and fresher air is on the way. We're starting to see that tomorrow again. I think we'll see a little bit better air quality Wednesday, same story, but it's really Thursday into Friday that we see that big push of fresher air, and that's going to drop our temperatures down to about 70 by Friday. Some signs point to our temperatures even falling into the 60s, tracking another potential day of showers on Friday as well. Thursday night into Friday, I should say. 60s and 50s for Tatchby and Fraser Park towards the end of the week, and even as we head into next week, those temperatures remain very comfortable. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com